Everyone knows schools are more understaffed than a neighborhood watch in Juarez. The underlying issue could be less the hiring of teachers and more the poor treatment of Paris. I'm Devin Siebold. This is the State of Teaching. Let me paint a picture. The captain has his ship headed to dock. The captain calls for the dropping of anger. No one is there. The ship runs aground and everyone blames the captain and the rest of the world is like, well, you should have been able to drop the anchor yourself too. And the media turns on him and he quits and he takes up drinking and Tom Hanks plays him in the documentary. It's a big thing. What I'm getting at is currently we're experiencing something similar in classrooms across the country. Teachers are being forced to captain a ship with a ghost crew and not even Scooby-Doo and the gang can track one down. As a result, teachers then leave and the public blames them instead of the poor support system. Possible alcoholism ensues. It's a made-for-TV movie on Tubi, Delta Burke stars. Reality is, teachers need help. And I know some of you are like, do they really? Well, about as much help as you'll need to get back up when a teacher knocks you unconscious for even asking that. But here's the real kicker the public should know. Teachers aren't asking for extra help. They're asking for the help that's legally afforded to them and to your child. The law says someone needs to be there to handle the anchor, but every day teachers are left to navigate the water solo or understaffed. Teachers are trying to be like Dr. Phillips and they end up like castaway because of the severe shortage of paraprofessionals. Think about it this way. Would you let your child on an understaffed carnival ride? Like, hey everyone, Carla called out seat belts are on the honor system. Also, I normally work cotton candy, where's the start button? Well, if you wouldn't put your child on that ride for 10 seconds, then why are you okay with the government understaffing paras where your child spends eight hours of their day? What's even more terrifying is that the severe para shortage is mostly in the fastest growing sect of school, special education. In the last 30 years, the number of special needs children has doubled, and currently we're sitting at one in six children. Sadly, that's also about the same ratio of para positions filled in these classrooms and the teachers of those classes are leaving because of it. Literally every teacher I talked to that left special education loved their job, and all of them have said the same thing. Too many children, not a single para to be found. Teachers can't take students from the earth to the moon when we're left in a league of our own. But it's true, I checked locally, just where I live, 47 open para positions posted in the last week. 30% of those were in ESE classrooms. Schools need paras like Taco Bell needs toilet paper. So what's deterring people from getting that job? Well, let's read the job description of a para from the website. Professional duties will involve attending meetings as necessary, attending appropriate and service provided, and becoming acquainted with philosophies, policies, procedures, equipment, and work site assigned. Assists assigned teachers by maintaining student records, preparing and may require changing diapering and or feeding of student with appropriate training and uh, perform other duties where assigned just in case we didn't cover it in our dissertation are they hiring a para or the commander of apollo 13 by the way that job pays 15 dollars and 30 cents an hour or 21 thousand dollars a year for comparison the parade performers at Disney World make $10,000 more per year. That's right, you get paid more to wave at children that skip school than to work in one. Bottom line is, without proper pay, paras will never step into the classroom and teachers will keep stepping out. We have to staff the entire ship properly or we'll crash and we'll risk another Tom Hanks reference in this video. Yeah. This has been The State of Teaching and I'm a man called Devin. Thanks for watching.